Hello, it's Ahmed Fathi, and in this video, I'd like to show you that using a small number of singular values is actually efficient to approximate an image to a very accepted level. Here I have some MATLAB code to demonstrate this idea. Here I am loading an image which happens to be an image of me, then I am transforming this image from RGB to grayscale image, and after that I am getting the rank of this image because this rank is equal to the number of non-zero singular values. I am not putting a semicolon right here because I want this rank to be printed on my console, then I am taking the singular value decomposition of this image right here. Now, after that, I am using different numbers of singular values to compute the reconstructed image, and I am storing the errors for the different values of the number of singular values used in reconstructing the image in some array, and so here, for example, I am using only one singular value, up to 40 singular values with a step of Two. So at the first time, I use only one singular value and see the image. Then I see three singular values, then five singular values, and so on up to 40. And in every iteration of this loop, I am zeroing all the singular values that are not needed. For example, here, if n is equal to 1, then I will be zeroing all the rows from the second row up to the end. At the same time, I am also zeroing out all the columns from the second column up to the end. So if I have some diagonal matrix here, sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma 3, up to, let's say, sigma r, then if I zero out all the rows from this up to the end and all the columns from this up to the end, I will be left with sigma 1 and all zeros, so I will be effectively using only one singular value, and so on. So this is what we are doing right here, and after that we get the reconstructed image as u multiplied by c multiplied by v, transpose, and then we show this image and also show the error plot. So let's run this code. Here are the images showing, and as you can see, whenever the singular values increase, the clarity of the image also increases, and after some amount or after some specific threshold, the image becomes very, very clear. Now let's go to our MATLAB console and see the rank of the original image, the number of non-zero singular values, so I can come here to the console, and I can see that this is the rank right here. The rank is 673, 673 non-zero singular values. But if we look at those images right here, let's look at this image for example, this image is only using 150 singular values and the image is really quite clear. So we are using less than one quarter of the singular values and still the reconstructed image looks very much similar to the original image. Let's also look at the error graph right here. So I think the error graph will be this one. So this is the error graph. Here is the number of singular values used, and here on this y-axis we have the error, and as you can see, the error at the start is slightly large, and then it decreases, decreases until we reach, for example, this 150 or this 200, and the error is very, very near to zero using 200 singular values out of those 673 singular values, so this is still a very, very nice image compression. I actually want you to note something. If the number of singular values used for compression was larger than the half of the original number of singular values, then we will not be performing compression at all. Let's go back to this equation right here. We found out that this is the number of values we needed to send if we use only k singular values. But if k is equal to n, over 2, then this number will be again n by n, the size of the original matrix. If k was larger than n by 2, then we will have a larger number of values to send than the original non-compressed image. So we will be sending a worse image using a larger number of numbers, which doesn't sound wise at all. But as long as we have k less than n over 2, then we will be performing image compression. One last thing here, I'd like to look at the image for the rank 1 
matrix or the rank one image right here you can see a very interesting pattern you can see all the rows as parallel lines to each other and all the columns as also parallel lines to each other this happens because this matrix is a rank one matrix and so all the rows are multiples of each other and all the columns are multiples of each other so if the first row was for example one two three four then the second row might be two four six and eight this row right here if you interpret every value of those values as the intensity or the brightness of the pixels then this right here this first row right here will be slightly darker than this second row right here but the relation will be consistent if this pixel right here is two times brighter than this pixel right here then this pixel right here will also be exactly two times brighter than this pixel right here the same applies for the columns now if you move to using three singular values we see that the image becomes somewhat distorted the lines are not parallel to each other anymore and that's because this is a rank 3 image instead of a rank 1 image.